What size are these, you say? Uh, 11, I think. 11 of these. He's in back, what are you doing? I'm gonna sit kinda here. You're gonna do a bit of a mansplaining to sit. Is there any other kind of sit? This is all going to be videos of. Welcome back to the next in the Seeker summaries. I'm not even gonna pretend I know what number this is. So first of all, we need to stop doing shoes and we need to do something else. <laughs> Basically everything has been shoes. So today we are doing a little versus or a comparison. So we have the Nike Metcon 5. So these are the newest in the Nike Metcon series. Basically, the cro a CrossFit shoe, the rival to the Nano, and I think they kind of out outstripped the Nano in popularity, although the Nano 10 came in, so people are asking, why don't we do the Nano 10, and you can't do three shoes in one video. No. And then we have the Innovate Light F Light 245s. And as I just want to say, I was so happy with the Metcon 5 until I wore the 245s, the Innovates, and now I fucking hate the Metcon 5s. Yeah. I was so upset, because I put these on, I had the, Nike, or the Metcon 4s, really happy with them. Thought they were all right. I had the fours, I didn't like the fours, but on the fives, I was like, these are really nice shoes. Yeah, Fitz had in the meantime gotten the the innovates and fuck, blew yeah. away. Like, I've had four pairs of of Metcons, like back from when it was like Metcon ones and twos and stuff, and I always loved them. Like, they're I think they're a very good shoe, yeah, they're val very like valuable for somebody who's like a coach who needs to be able to do loads of different things, and um, they're pretty comfortable. They don't look, or like the earlier ones didn't look that fly, you know, so yeah. like people aren't, it's not like wearing like really fancy runners around the place. Um, so I used to always like these. Um, I just wore out my last pair. I think I threw out my last pair just a few weeks ago, um, just because they do fall apart. If you're wearing them every day and training in them and doing warm ups in them, they do get worn down. Like you might get six or eight months out of them before they kind of cave in. And I, I assume it's going to be the same with these. Yeah. And um, that's just like the lifespan of most runners. But I got these and I actually got these because I've started running a lot more um, or particularly sprinting a lot more. And in terms of sprint mechanics, I needed a shoe that wasn't going to give me much uh, like cushioning underneath me because I needed to kind of fix my technique or I was working on my technique a lot. So I didn't want something like an ASICS. Um, or something like a Brooks, like something that's gonna really allow me to heel strike, and these definitely don't allow you to heel strike. Okay, we'll get that in a minute. Yeah. Okay, so first category we're gonna review them in is aesthetics. So this is the kind of the most frivolous category. Um, this is entirely up to you what you Probably like. Probably the most important. Um, if people are buying shoes online, they just look at them. Yeah, so this is entirely up to you, so we're not gonna like linger on this too much. I prefer the um, less flashy, kind of more minimalist look of the Innovates. I just, it's just easier to kind of, when you wear something like these grey Metcons, I feel like you're really committing to a shoe. Like you're committing to your outfit with what you're doing with that. Yeah. People will notice you're wearing Metcon 5s and um, grey. I think, yeah, you're committing to CrossFit. Yeah. You're, or like yeah. cross training, you know. You're making a statement when you wear these. These are a shoe, like, and some people like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I'm kind of like, I yeah. like this. This is a great looking shoe for me. Like, your mom's friend who does a bit of hill walking could be wearing these shoes. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. you never know. Yeah, and that's uh, like, people look key, like. If somebody hears this, like, they, they own a rogue t-shirt if they have a pair of Metcons. Well, like, when you own these, you go out in a rogue t-shirt and jeans, like, that's yeah. how you go to the pub, you know? Sometimes you tuck the t-shirt into the jeans. Yeah, when you got a pump, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, aesthetics for us is, so this is obviously the least important, or least relevant to the review, because this will be entirely up to you. I just prefer the Innovates, Fitz prefers the Innovates. Metcon 5s, I still like how they look, but they are, um, they're kind of a flashier shoe, and I know you can get different colors, but the colors get even more flashier than this. Look, maybe if you're a cooler person than us, and yeah. you have friends and stuff. <laughs> if you go um, to relevant places. Yeah, maybe um, these are the shoe for you, but um, yeah. Moving on. Yeah. First really important category is lifting. So you would, we initially would have thought that the Metcon 5s would have been better for lifting, okay? Because they look like a more rigid shoe. There's a little bit more of a, 
this is a lot stiffer at the bottom. Yeah. Um, obviously, the Innovate is incredibly flexible. Like they are, at the end of the day, minimalist shoes. Yeah. But I've got to say, when I when we did a bit of lifting both of them, the Innovate's won for me. Yeah. It made no sense for me either because I've had these before. And these are stiff. You know, like they're made to do a bit of lifting, and these ones come with the optional heel insert as well. Yeah. And we yeah. didn't use it. Um, I don't care for that really. But it's just like it's kind of rigidity in the form of like your foot doesn't stick to the shoe like a weightlifting shoe is incredibly rigid in its support whereas these are incredibly rigid and then your foot kind of just sits on top of them yeah you've like you've no ability to grip the shoe or anything like that yeah. um and that's where like when you start wearing these these are like girl shows you like these will roll up into a ball and um, but they fit your foot incredibly well yeah there's some areas of support that people don't tend to think about. Like when you put these on, the first thing you'll feel is like back along here, it's like a slight ridge up. So you actually get like support on the inside of your ankle that you definitely don't get from a flat sole shoe. Um, and then these do allow you, like we talk about gripping the floor with your toes a lot. Yeah. They definitely allow for that. Um, they're not like older kind of innovates or like, you know, the five finger vibrams no, or whatever. No, no, no. They're not that kind of shoe. They offer a lot of, of um, a lot of support, which I didn't think they actually would. Yeah, this is this like this material. This, the the sole of the shoe is actually like when we kind of go laterally, but it's very very stiff. So yeah. then this middle bit here, uh, I really 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 like these for lifting. I thought for squats and stuff they wouldn't be great, but I was really happy with how they felt. Like Fit said, when you put on the Mechan fives, while the toe box is nice and wide, which I do think is a, a benefit for. And a mistake a lot of shoes have, which is one of the things we talked about in the Romilly of Fours. But then, obviously, the minimal, minimalist, minimalist shoes, motherfucker. These, um, <laughs> you have a lot of space in them. Uh, like, so we, Fitz mentioned you had, there's like a three quarter heel insert, which we don't have. But if you get them, it's like a little this long. It adds about half an inch to the effective heel height. I don't like it. Um, mainly for the reason, and other people have said this, is it kind of, it can slide around a bit. So if you're doing yeah. heavy lifting in a wad, it's probably going to move around a bit. If I was doing lifting with heavy weights, I certainly wouldn't trust it the same position. So it only takes one kind of incident to cause a little injury. Um, I, so I've lifted like relatively heavy. So heavy for me right now. Mm -hmm. um, I've squatted in them. I've done like power cleans and cleans in them. Uh, and I've moved around while training a good bit in them. And these, so the one thing I hate with training in non-weightlifting shoes is compression of the sole. So like... Yeah. being able to squeeze the sole in uh so i like nearly died squatting 190 in these and i still didn't feel any compression in the sole uh which is great and like it's not just that you're it doesn't feel like you're standing barefoot on the floor which i don't like either but there is none of that like sponginess yeah um, and one place i would feel where you feel like you're just standing barefoot on the floor is underneath the ball of your foot uh yeah, there is on a, these it's like you're just hitting the ground uh, yeah there's kind of still like a weird sponginess as well at the same time it's yeah a, it's a strange kind of uh, it's like, like fabric uh, compressing yeah it's like a fabric underneath your feet so you have a nice white toe box but you're still kind of on some kind of it's like a spongy material in the inside which isn't in the heel part so if, or you don't feel as much in the heel part mm. it's a little bit spongy whereas in the innovates it's nice and rigid uh the only thing i probably wouldn't do in these is like heavy snatches um, yeah. If you go for like heavy power clean stuff like that, they love squats, all that's groovy. Uh, I probably, you know, you do see a lot of um, powerlifters wear minimalist shoes or they have like their the deadlift kind of slips on. Yeah. These would fit in nicely. They would fit that kind of category where you're you're able to grip the ground uh, flat so there's no like real heel drop in them a little bit. But yeah, realistically, you're not going to be wearing these to deadlift 300 kilos, you know. No, and I think that's the thing with all training shoes is like these will take the middle of the u-shaped curve you know like you're not going to like super beginners should probably be training in something else super advanced should probably be training in something else but these will probably cover you for a lot of your sessions yeah. normally so just wouldn't be doing highly specific weightlifting workouts no. in in either these to be honest um honestly it's up to either one for those i would for me personally and i think for most people i would recommend the innovates but i still would caution we would definitely caution don't don't do any weightlifting either of these but as in fit says it's a cross training shoe so for your general strength training in say your fitness class or your cross training class or whatever you're doing now i think the innovates would benefit you a little bit more uh moving on to the next category so crossfit is the next ca category and when we talk about like 
CrossFit, it's like the traditional CrossFit wads. So things are lasting like 20, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. You're kind of high intensity interval training. Uh, so box jumps, burpees, pull-ups, all of your movements, some barbell stuff. Uh, if you think, so there's a few things to take into account here, right? And that's how fatigued your foot is actually going to get. So if you're doing like rebounding jumps and stuff like that, yep. there's gripping a CrossFit surface, which for most people is going to be either a rubberized floor or else it's going to be concrete outside or concrete inside. Uh, so you've actual fatigue of the foot, you have gripping of the sole, and then you have like lightness or yeah. like very specific grip, like your rope grips or things like that. Yeah. Uh, first thing with fatiguing the feet, the thing I always found with Metcons, always over the years, is if I was standing all day in Metcons because they're so flat, my feet used to get really worn out. I, yeah, I figured that as well. Maybe. And this, like, there, so there's almost no grip on the bottom of the shoe. It's grand if it's like perfect rubber matting yeah. and there's not chalk there or someone hasn't sweated on it, but they do get slippy. And especially after five, six, seven months, that you'll have just a flat sole on the bottom of your Metcon. Uh, these are very, very structured yeah. and they, they're filthy dirty as well. How do you feel these absorb the impacts, you know, when you're doing like, when you're coming down off a bar or you're doing your box jumps? Yeah, I suppose I've done some jumps in them Yeah, and they seem grand. Like you have to be, it's your, it's your like, uh, your ankle structure yeah. is absorbing the impact. So I think, yeah. look, if you land poorly, you land poorly in a pair of Metcons mm. or you land poorly in a pair of Innovates. Yeah. I prefer the Innovates, um, definitely for the landing and stuff because you do have a textured grip. Yeah. Uh, and it's just the nature, like most of those CrossFit wads are going to bring you across different surfaces. Uh, and I think like, look, we understand why they went with a flatter sole yep. because it's like, it's uniform. If you're lifting on it, there's no weirdness. Um, but I would always err on the caution of having a bit more grip rather than a bit less. And because we mentioned that these kind of have, you can't grip the inside of the Mekon 5. So when you're landing, you're going to be landing flat footed basically most of the time. And obviously when you're doing your super strict pull-ups, it's fine. Or when you're doing your like first set of box jumps. But when you're on your 20 minutes of the wad, the chances are you're not going to be going, okay, I'm going to land with my toes yeah. on the ground and the big arch, you're literally just going to be slapping into the ground. And, and if you've ever had any kind of plantar fasciitis issue, you will be super sorry. You will never want it again. Yeah. So that is something I feel like this will give you the room to land better. So the initial learning curve might be great, but this is incredibly solid. So we'll absorb some of the impact. But like Fitz is saying, good landing technique is what's going to save you. And I feel like these might force you to learn it a little bit better. Uh, yeah, that's what I was about to say. These will give you plantar fasciitis. Do yeah. <laughs> you know, like? Yeah. It's like we're going to talk about running next. Um, but these will, like, if you try and run in these, like you run your 5Ks or whatever, and now, like, mm -hmm. within a week, you will be up the walls. Yeah. And, like, not in a good way. No. Um, yeah, like, I hit a stone in, in these last week, straight into my heel, just, like, just at the bottom of a run when you're decelerating. Yeah. And, oh, my God. Like, you know all about it. Uh, in terms of kind of lightness, so Fitz had grip kind of uh, landing. Yeah. The lightness of the Innovates is, so it's a minimalist shoe, so it is always going to win the lightness category. And these are, they feel very phenomenal. phenomenal. I see the Mekons are a bit chunky. Yeah. Compared to say the Nanos, say like seven or eights, the Mekons are definitely a heavier feeling shoe in your foot. So now, if you're doing, if you're able to do handstand walks, you're not going to give a shit really. No. But it is a factor, especially when you're running, and the more fatigued you get, the heavier kind of the, the weight will feel on your foot. Mm -hmm. But um, definitely the weights are much lighter, and they will they'll give you that little extra kind of receptive feedback, you know, where you're like, your feet are light. Yeah, so like a, a bit of proprioception. A little bit of a feather feeling where you are in your own body. So moving on to the next category, we have running. Yeah. I like... I want to preface this now, right, by saying these, if you put these on, so Gurf just opened the box today. Thank you. 
phrase. Yeah. And these are the ones we've actually been testing with, but if you open the box today and you're like, oh, even if you're like a fairly good runner, you've been running grand, you think you've good technique, whatever. If you put these shoes on and just start running, like you've been running for the last five years, yeah. you're not going to have a good time because it's like, oh, I, I, I don't even know a comparison to make, you know? Yeah. Um, it, you have no support in terms of heel striking and staying upright when you're running. They're not a good shoe for running prolonged distances. The running I've been doing them is sprinting and sprint intervals and stuff, and they're a phenomenally good shoe. They feel unbelievable for sprinting. So yeah. we did some, insert some B-roll here, so you'll see, you'll see a little bit of us doing some sprints, and uh, which I won as well, by the way. But um, just one. one. Listen, sprint. it only takes one to win at the goal, like. So um, for short sprints, they are very good. If you're running at the balls of your feet, which you probably should be, um, they are the absolute biz. They stick to your feet, but it doesn't feel like you're running barefoot. They are superb. Yeah, if, they, like if you want to do five k's or ten k's and stuff, yeah, I wouldn't get these shoes. Maybe no. get them for your training, or if you're doing shorter runs, or if you're in the gym, yeah, get these. But they're not the shoe for doing runs in. For sprints, they feel great. I even feel like either of these wouldn't be the best shoe if you're doing like your kind of typical CrossFit distances. So it's probably like 5k or under. Um, the, um, these can be a little bit slappy, I think, in Metcon 5s. And we know like running technique, there's so much to it uh, that people don't really appreciate. You know, and even the kind of quietness of someone's running gait. Like these are very, they kind of force you to slap the ground a little bit. And realistically, you shouldn't be hearing anyone striding or running, and these will kind of force you to do that. However, if you're looking beyond 5Ks, non-interval running, so just straight distance, either of these wouldn't be the best. But I suppose for folks on the topic of like cross training. Yeah, they're grand. Yeah. Uh, last category is everyday wear. Mm -hmm. So I think you know by now we prefer the innovates. <laughs> um, so it's for, rare we do a review where you like the things. Yeah, see, like we bought, so we bought obviously the company bought one each, you know, CK, <laughs> our chest, but then we immediately bought a second pair because I wanted them. So Fitz got them, I got the fives, but I just, I wanted, we got these today brand new. I just really wanted a pair for everyday use. They are. So this kind of comes out to personal preference again in terms of like aesthetics and everyday use. They are kind of individualistic things and just putting these on is like wearing. Nothing at all. Yeah, it feels great. They feel fantastic. I'm so impressed with this shoe. It's such a good shoe. Yeah. The worst part is I was really happy with the Metcon 5s I got them. Because I wore them, I stopped wearing my Converse. Cause I used to wear, I wear my Nano 8s, I think, all the time. And then I got the Metcon 5s. I was like, these are really nice shoe. Yeah. I had a little bit of kind of foot crampiness when I was walking the Metcon 5s. Yeah. Initially, because you kind of, it does splay your foot out a little bit more on the inside of them. Um, which may or may not be fault of the shoe. Maybe the fault of your foot formation from years of wearing smaller shoes. But putting on the innovates, they feel so good in your feet. Yeah. Like, I've no time for five fingers or any of that shit. No. But these are my favorite shoe I've ever had. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Big it. shout. Big shout, yeah. So for everyday use. Now again, this last category might be personal preference. Yeah. Um, these have been like off-roading a bit with me. Um, just on like some trails and stuff, and they're very good. You have plenty of grip. There's plenty of, like depth in those ridges. Um, which is important if you're somebody who goes off piste a bit. Um, but yeah, like obviously they're very dirty and they're going to be incredibly difficult to keep clean, but yeah. I don't think that really applies to me too much. Uh, yeah, they're great too. I think not in any way waterproof. No, no. Uh, yeah, you just need to look at a puddle and you'll be soaked. That is one problem living in Ireland. Yeah, but you just get used to it. Uh, I think it's telling that Fitz only wears them all the time now since we, he got them. Yeah. You wear the Innovates all the time. Yeah. One thing we didn't mention on the CrossFit aspect of this is I'm almost certain that this would be torn to shreds doing your rope climbs. Yeah. I would say, I know the Metcons, people have that issue and, and to be like, added this kind of upper lip of rubber to kind of mitigate that as much as you could while still not having a really fucking strange looking shoe. Yeah. Whereas, to be honest, they have a tiny little yeah. no beard. It's called rope tech. So like, oh yeah, I I don't buy this. Like unless you are gonna be like gripping the shoe at a perpendicular angle 
or parallel, your soul is going to be parallel to the rope all the time, which we know it's not, and you're going to be heavy fatigued. Yeah. You're going to almost certainly tear this. And that is something we didn't test at all, is rope climbs. Yeah. Uh, th- there isn't really a need to, I'd say, it's like you're going to... No, like you just accept that it's going to happen. Yeah, so for that kind of, that aspect of the CrossFit, I'd say durability, like we know the Metcons, you can get like a year prox, like that's a fairly good average for most people. Yeah. If, you're, yeah, if you're training maybe two, three, four times a week, you'll get a year. Uh, I think if you're, if you're in the gym most days, you won't get more than eight months. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah. For the price of shoes, if you get them on sale, it's good. It's a good bargain. Like the Metcon 5s, if we were doing this review by themselves, they would have gotten a good review, I think. But on, we're doing a versus video, and the versus video goes to these. So yeah. they, they win the aesthetics for us. Everything. Joe, yeah. who I kind of recommend this for is if you're an athlete training with a team, so if you're playing on a field sport and you're like you probably have a pair of runners or like trainers Mm -hmm. uh you have your other shoes and you just need shoes that you're only going to wear in the gym yeah i i tell people to get these yeah and because they're just in the gym they probably won't do too much conditioning in them they're not going to get weightlifting shoes because they'll have to do some jumping around and stuff yeah then this is okay uh but for people who are like cross training athletes yeah um or just want cool shoes get these so like, you know, even if you compare the Metcon 5s to absolutely any other terrible shoe that you see people wearing in the gym, you know, you see people like free runs or stuff like uh, any kind of ASICs, like th- this is by far, this, it is a good shoe, but the Innovate is just better. Yeah. And as unfortunately the problem with doing a reverse is, uh, I don't like the Metcon 5s anymore now anymore. It's, that's the problem with that. Uh, if anyone wants to buy a barely used pair of Metcon 5s, we'll get at, at Gerfling on Instagram. Um, so the innovates are great. I don't know if the innovates will last that long though either. No. I don't see, no, I'm not going to be doing CrossFit in them or CrossFit at all, but I don't know. I, I can see the seams kind of, it's a big bit visible glue like, yeah. I wonder how long they'll really last. I think, like to finish on this, yeah. people view a pair of shoes as like not being a consumable of training. Yeah. Uh, whereas like shoes are consumables, I think, we get this thing with weightlifting shoes you are like, oh, I have these shoes and the only reason people change is because they find a newer, flashier pair that they enjoy wearing more. Yeah. And I think if you're training, you have to be willing to say, uh, like, these shoes will do me for a season or these shoes will do me for eight or nine or ten months or whatever that is and just accept that you get the most out of a pair of shoes and then in the same way that the thread on your tires gets worn down, yeah. they're not going to last forever and just get rid of them. I think that's all there is to say about them. Yeah. Um, kudos to Innovate for making a good shoe. Uh, the waking shoe is fucking terrible, so I mean... I've never worn them. Yeah, I just don't even... <laughs> anyway, I look at them, and they still make them as well, which is, you know... They must be selling. They must do, yeah. I, cro- crossfitters do like them as waking shoes. Yeah. Uh, next up will be, unfortunately, another fucking shoe review with the is Legacy, it? Legacy 2s. Like, oh, else? I forgot about that. What else are we going to do? Yeah. Um, we have a pretty good one coming up, but it'll be a while before this thing is back in stock. Yeah. And then... Oh, uh, that is a good one. Yeah, it is a good one. Um, so that, hope you enjoyed this. Um, let us know what your thoughts are. And let us know what you want to be reviewed as well. Yeah, we do like that actually. People mentioned, people want Ananta versus Night 2 done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, that'll be a tough one. They're both great. Great shoe. Uh, we'll, we'll probably have that be in the, the one after the next, I'd say. We hopefully. might see to do that when Nat gets the Antas back in stock in Hook Grip Store. Yeah. Because um, then it will allow people to go and buy them. Oh, yeah, yeah. the big yeah. issue with the Antis is... But anyway, we're so off topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These are good shoes. These yeah. are good as well, but not as good as those ones. Um, Thanks for watching. So I, we'll just go through the categories again. So in everyday use, for us, it's the Innovates. Um, in aesthetics, it's for us, it's the Innovates. For lifting, it's us personally, and I would think for most experienced lifters, but you're saying for... Yeah, for people who just want a gym training shoe, probably get those. Yeah, average gym training shoe, strength training, these. Um, running, under 5k, these. Over 5k, none of these. <laughs> none of these. None of these. What would you pick if you had to pick one for over 5k? Uh, I'd just go with an Asics. No, no, of these, if we have, for the reverse. I wouldn't. You have to pick one. I don't care. You have to pick one for the, for the reverse. I'd pick these because I'd be after buying them for everything else anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and the last... What was the last everyday time? wearing right? everyday wear so innovates um, if you have cooler friends than us yeah uh, they would be quite they are quite comfy for everyday use quite right. snazzy quite snazzy yeah um, there is no there's no understated tones to the Metcon 5 there's no, no. colour where you're like Jesus 
I didn't know it was wearing shoes. Yeah, yeah, there's no colour way where you're like, Joe, you know, these could just be wearing around the house trainers. Yeah, they're not. They're no, no, this is performance. Yeah, I'm like, this I is performance. I do things. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. I exercise recreationally with my friends. <laughs> Intensively. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, l please like, comment, subscribe, share to people, uh, leave comments, abuse other people in the comments. I we yeah, go at it in the comments. Add each other, not at us, right? Add each other. You can go at us if you want. No, no, add each other. It's better. Yeah, I haven't seen a good argument yet, which is unfortunate. Um, I'd prefer that, but we appreciate all the positive comments. Uh, thank you very much.